everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a review on two eyeshadow palettes from a single collection that I recently bought. Actually not so recent because I bought this I think on February or January because I want to try it out and see if this is at par with some other eyeshadow palettes that I own and that people absolutely love. So these palettes are from LA Girl. So these are called the Beauty Break Eyeshadow Collection. So there are four different palettes from this collection and I have two of which, the Nude and Ultra. I want to do a review and comparison on this palette, comparing it with the Urban Decay Naked palette because the similarities are uncanny even when it comes to the packaging. Although, of course, the Naked 2 and 3 um, have different packaging, but when it comes to how the palette is laid out, um, how the colors are arranged they are very similar i'll be talking about the nude palette more because i haven't really played a lot with the ultra palette i've swatched this a couple of times but that's it so i'll be discussing the colors in this palette more and how i compare this with the naked one and naked three so this eyeshadow palettes have 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 eyeshadows just like the um, Naked palettes from Urban Decay. Urban Decay palettes also have a combination of mattes and shimmer shades and it's the same with the LA Girl Beauty Brick eyeshadow palettes. They also have a combination of mattes and shimmer shades. I'll be swatching everything on my hand. Actually, I'm wearing these eyeshadows on my eyes. I'll be doing a close-up later on to explain what or to tell you guys what eyeshadows from this palette I've used. But when it comes to all the colors, I'll be swatching them on hand. The colors don't have names. I'll be swatching them from the lightest to the darkest. And actually, the packaging, for those who are wondering, it's in a, like a cardboard cardboard like packaging and um, from the outside you can already see the colors which is actually nice because you get to determine right away if the, the palette is for you you can see right away what the colors are inside and then um, inside there is a mirror and there's actually a brush um, I forgot to bring it but I'll I'll be getting it in a bit. The brush is dual-ended, so you get like a sponge-like applicator on the other end. On the other end, you get this like stiff, thin bristled brush, which I don't like. Um, that's the thing because the Naked palettes have brushes that you can really use to put on makeup, but the brush that comes with this palette and also the other one, I don't think you can use those. But I actually use the other end of the brush for my eyebrows. So I try to make use of it. But when it comes to applying the eyeshadow on your eyelids, I don't think you can use the brush that comes with the palette. Going back to the shades. So I'm going to start with the lightest shade here. This one is a bit chalky. It is a white shade. It is actually not white white, but more on an off white eyeshadow color, which you can use as um, brow bone highlight. I actually did that today. And then the next shade is this pale pink color. There you go. It isn't very pigmented, but you can definitely build it up. So the next shade is this shimmery pink shade here and this is actually the color that I am wearing all over my leads. Um, the next one is this 
matte um, sort of a mauve pink shade which is great as a transition color go next is an orangey no not orangey but peachy with a little bit of hint of pink shade Next is a, um, like the mauve matte shade, but this one is the shimmery version of that one. So there you go. It's actually a very lovely shade. This one, the next one is a um, peachy shimmery shade. One. It's also a very pretty shimmery shade that you can use all over your lids. So next is a bronzy brown shimmery color. This is it. This one. Next is um, actually quite similar to the first sort of a light pink shimmery shade. Although this one is more subtle or dull and it's actually leaning more on the brown grayish color okay so next is this another um, bronzy shade but darker than this one so as you can see this one is darker than the first bronzy brown shimmery shade Next is this one, which is like a duochrome color. You can see like pink specks in it. This one unfortunately doesn't have that much color payoff. It's not that pigmented, which is quite disappointing because it's such a lovely color in the pan. So last one is also like a duochrome color. When you look at it, it looks blue, gray, and brown as well or violet so there you go this one also doesn't have that much color payoff but you can see the effect that it gives it actually looks like red when swatched on the arm so those are all the colors from the nudes palette um as you can see there are a lot of shimmery shades in this palette there are only three mattes which are this one which actually like a satiny matte this one the light pink color and this one the mauve darker shade um now when i first got this i initially thought that this is similar with the naked one or the original naked palette which is this one but as I use it more, I realize that this is actually more similar to the Naked 3 palette, which is the rose gold palette of Urban Decay. Um, simply because of the rose or the pinks in this palette. So, let me give you a side-by-side. -side. So... Below is the Naked V, and on top is the Nude palette from LA Girl. And you can definitely tell the inspiration. You can definitely tell the similarities. For a more in-depth comparison between the LA Girl Nude palette and the Naked 3, I'll be swatching the colors or the shades that I think are quite similar to, to one another from both palettes. So... Um, let's start off with the lightest shade from the LA Girl um, palette. This one right here. And then, let's also swatch Strange. This one's from the Naked 3. There you go. They almost have the same formulation. They have this like almost chalky um, 
feel into them but satiny not chalky in the sense that it's intense that you'd feel irritated to wear them um the nudes the one from the nudes is actually whiter than the one from the naked three because the one from the naked three has a slight hint of pink in it the next shade here this one the light pink i'd like to say that it is quite similar with the color limit from the naked three here this is limit and then i'll swatch the one from the nudes on top of it so here you go on this one is this one is from the nudes this one is from the naked three um the one from the nudes is brighter it's more of a bright light pink than the one from the naked three which is limit limit has this like um purpley undertone in it next is this shade the first um pink shimmery shade from the nudes which i think is quite similar with dust from the naked three so this is dust okay so this is the one from the nudes this is dust as you can see they are quite similar except that the one from the nudes is a lot pigmented than the one from the naked three if you can see the color payoff of dust from the naked three is not very impressive this is actually one of the colors that a lot of beauty vloggers don't like because it doesn't give up that much color payoff but this one from the nudes is actually very pigmented and it's very pretty like what i've said it is what I used all over my lids today. Next is this shade. This is like the mauve matte shade. And this is similar, I think, with Lunar from the Naked 3. They have the same undertone, which is a mauve dark pink undertone. Okay, so this one is from the LA Girl palette and this one is Lunar. For this shade, obviously, Lunar is more pigmented. This is actually my favorite transition shade from the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Although, from the nudes, this is also my favorite um, transition shade. You can definitely build out this color. I've tried it before. I used it on my crease and I used it a couple of times and it gave off a very decent um, color payoff. However, when compared with Lunar, you can see that Lunar is a lot pigmented and a bit darker than this one. Okay, so next is this shade. Um, this is like the pink, uh, the peachy pink uh, shimmery shade. Um, and I think it's quite similar with Burnout from the Naked 3. As you can see, Burnout also has that peachy pink um, combination in it I don't use burnout that much okay so here is the the one from the nudes and this is from the naked 3 if you can tell the one from the naked 3 is more next is this shimmery pink shade here which is darker than the first one and I'd like to say that that is similar with buzz from the naked three so this is buzz this one is from the nudes and this one is from buzz buzz is a bit darker than the one from the nudes but when it comes to pigmentation and color payoff i think they are equally pretty they are both very nice um colors that you can definitely wear all over your eyelids next we have this peachy almost coppery shade and I'd like to say that that is similar with Trick from the Naked V. Okay, so this one is from the Nudes and this one is Trick. They are definitely quite similar in terms of the color except that Trick has, you can see the pink in Trick more than the one from the Nudes. Also, in my opinion, the one from the nudes has better pigmentation than Trick because Trick here is a bit patchy. So it's 
um, it's kind of a bit sheer than the one from the nude. So when it comes to this shade, I'd say that the one from the nude is better than the one from the Naked 3. Okay. And then we have this um, second to the... Actually, I don't know if this is the darker shade here, but or if second to the darkest shade. But this one, the one with like the monochrome thick specks or the one that looks purple and brown at the same time. So I think that one is similar with Black Heart from the Naked 3. So let's see if they are indeed similar. So this is Black Heart. And this is the one from the Nudes. So when it comes to this color, although they look quite similar in the pan, as you can see, when swatched, the one from the Nudes has less pigmentation. And the one Black Heart is a very pretty dark shade, which has pink um, orangey glitters in it but it doesn't have any fallout at all. I've used Black Heart a lot before so I know that it's an amazing color and comparing these two shades there is a huge difference when it comes to the color and the color payoff. Those are all the colors that I think are similar between these two So again, this is Naked 3 and this is the Nudes. Um, but although not all colors are similar, you can definitely tell that majority of the shades found in the Nudes are also the shades that you can get from the Naked 3. When it comes to color payoff and pigmentation, there are shades here that are amazing, that are better than the ones from the Naked 3. So, I wouldn't say that this is like a waste of money because again, there are pretty colors here although majority needs a lot of building up and there are shades here that when you swatch them, they don't feel satiny and like when you swatch the colors from the Naked palette. Okay, so I just want to quickly discuss the colors from the Ultra palette. I think they market this as the more... Um, as the cooler toned palette from all four. At first, when I still don't have this, this actually reminds me, or when I saw the colors, um, it reminds me of the Naked 2. But now that I have it and I get to compare it with the Naked 1 palette and the Naked 2, I'd say that this is more similar to the Naked, the original Naked palette than the Naked 2. I just want to give you a closer comparison. So, I'd, I say that this is more similar to the Naked palette because of the blues or the, like the taupey um, blue shades like this one, Gunmetal from um, the Naked palette which is, I think, could be quite similar with this color right here and the browns here as well. Although I think this is a combination of the colors from both the Naked 1 and the Naked 2. So let's just... Okay, so here you go. Here are all the shades. I can't say much about the Ultra palette because I haven't used it that much like what I've said earlier. The thing is I find the shades in this palette a bit... Um, not stiff, hard that when you press it or when you touch it, when I try to swatch it before, I feel that the eyeshadows are not as velvety unlike the ones from the nudes. I don't gravitate towards this palette that much. This palette costs nine dollars each um, I got mine at around 350 to 400 pesos here in the Philippines it's very cheap like compared to the naked palettes this is very very cheap of course you have to manage your expectations because you're paying less you would get an eyeshadow palette that isn't 
so outstanding that isn't very impressive. I mean, we can say that, that there are similarities between like the Naked palettes and the, the Beauty Brick palettes from LA Girl, but we cannot fully compare them to each other because we're not paying the same price for each. Again, this is very, very cheap. This is a lot cheaper than the Naked palettes. But then, I can say that there are shades here that are better than the ones from the Naked palette. So that's a plus. If you're thinking about buying this, know that there are shades that are more pigmented, that have better color payoff than the ones from the Naked 3. The other two palettes that are included in this collection are the Smoky palette and the Neons. The Neons are, of course, from the name itself are colorful eyeshadows and then the smoky are perfect for smoky eyes. The Let me give you a close-up of the eye look that I'm wearing. Okay, so I just want to share with you the shades that I used here for my eyes. So, this um, peachy shade here, shimmery shade, I used this all over my beads and then I used this bronzy shimmery color for my eyes outer V and then I used this mauve matte color here for my crease and then I topped it all off with this light pink shade um, which I put on the center of my eyelids and I also smudged it here in my waterline the half of my waterline and then the other half I used the bronzy brown shade so basically, those are all the shades that I used on my eyes. Oh, I also used the lightest shade for my brow bone highlight and inner corner highlight. So again, if you're thinking about buying these palettes from LA Girl, um, I'd say that you go and swatch it first. I'm not sure if these are available um, in beauty stores or if these are available online only, but... Um, what I'd suggest is that you swatch it first and see if you feel that the eyeshadows are for you, like if you find them velvety or creamy. Um, this one, I recommend the nudes for the shades itself because again, um, neutral shades are easy to work with so you won't have any problems with the shades. Plus, the shimmery shades here are quite impressive. You can definitely create different looks just by using this palette. So this one I'd recommend. I just want to quickly show to you the brush that comes along with this palette. Again, this, this has like the sponge-like applicator and the other end is like this very thin, um, stiff brush which I now use for my eyebrows because I don't want to throw this away. I, I had to find um, a use for this brushes so yeah but i won't use this for the eyeshadows there you have it hope you guys find this video helpful if you're thinking about getting this palette yes they are cheap but they are not that great that's probably the bottom line of this review that's all for now and see you again in my next video bye